Hey kids, great to see you all again. We are starting a new series and I'm very excited to share them with you and it's called Kids in the Bible. Now we may have heard about Bible stories about biblical heroes and giants of faith, but not so much about kids. To kick off this series, we are going to learn about this kid who have a lot of faith even when life is hard. The title for today's lesson is Naaman and the Servant Girl. Today, we are going to talk about the servant girl who loved God and did the right thing, even when she's faced on a difficult situation. Many years ago, in the country of Aram, there lived a man named Naaman. Naaman was a great general and was in charge of the army. Everything was going well for Naaman, except he had leprosy. So kids, do you know what leprosy means? So leprosy is a skin disease that leaves spots on your skin. Naaman's wife had a servant girl who was from Israel. The servant girl was captured and was taken away from her family and from her hometown of Israel. The servant girl knew God and he had heard of a prophet named Elisha who could heal Naaman. Since she was just a servant girl, she could have, have kept her mouth close and not tell anyone, but she didn't. She told Naaman's wife about Elisha, and Naaman's wife told Naaman. Naaman was super excited that he might be healed. He quickly got permission from his boss to go to Israel. His boss wrote a letter to the king of Israel asking for Naaman to be healed. But we have to remember that Israel and Aaron are two very different countries. And there were histories of fighting before. So when the king of Israel read the letter, he was afraid. He thought that Naaman's country wanted to fight with his country. Then Elijah, who is God's prophet, heard about what was going on and he stepped in. He told Naaman that if he wanted to be healed, then he would have to go to the Jordan River and wash himself in the water seven times. After he washed himself seven times, he could be healed. Now, when Naaman heard this, he got mad. Can you believe that? For Naaman, there's a whole lot of rivers in his country, Aram. But Elisha asked him to wash in the Yaki rivers of Jordan. He had to travel all the way to Israel, away from his country, and then wash himself in the Yaki River of Jordan River. Finally, Naaman gave in, and he washed himself seven times in the Jordan River. And guess what? He got healed. Naaman thanked Elisha and said that now he knew God was real. He tells Elisha from now on, his offering sacrifices only to God who healed him, the one true God, not all of those pretend gods anymore. When he got home, his life was changed in more than many different ways. He no longer had leprosy, and he and his household worshipped God. Because of the servant girl, Naaman's life was changed, his household was changed, his family was changed, and also, his army that he led was changed. All this happened because the servant girl was willing to speak, to speak and share things about God. And now, Naaman's family, Naaman's household, his armies, and himself got healed. God can use anybody to do his work. God has used the servant girl to change someone's life. And he, if he can use this girl, he can use you too. Did anyone force her to help Naaman? No, it's because this young girl loved God. She loved others and most especially, she even loved the family that captured her who has taken her away from her hometown in Israel. She was able to forgive them too and tell them about God's goodness. Here's our lesson to remember. Number one, 
You don't have to wait to have a relationship with God. Even at your young age, you can choose to love God and choose to believe what Jesus has done on the cross for you and me so that we can have a relationship with God and live with Him forever. Number two, always remember you can do the right thing with the help of the Holy Spirit ready to guide you as long as you're willing to obey and listen to God's instructions, we are able to forgive others. We are able to share things that we have to others. And just last week, we talked about the fruits of the Holy Spirit, how these godly characters, you know, can grow into our lives as to show that we are bearing fruit. And thirdly, God can use you to bring His glory there's no height requirement. There's no age requirement. God can use you at your age right now. Here's our memory verse for today. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. In the same way, let your light shine so others can see it. Then they will see the good things you do, and they will bring glory to your Father who is in heaven. God used this little servant girl all the way from Israel to make a difference in Naaman's life. And God can do big things through you too. He can use you mightily. And someday, God might use you to bring glory and honor to His name. Not only that, but also to tell others about Him. Be sure to check our ifcchurch.ca website to download all those activities for our today's lesson. Thank you for joining me and always remember that you are special and God loves you very much. Have a blessed day.